Hello everyone, Larry with Rustic Retreats here. Today I want to talk about the disciple Peter. Just a few facts about Peter. Simon, or called Peter by Jesus, was the first disciple that Jesus called. Jesus named Simon Peter, which means rock. Peter was a fisherman when Jesus approached him, and Peter had many flaws. He had faith issues and doubted. He had anger issues, maybe. He drew a sword and attacked a servant of the high priest when they went to uh, arrest Jesus. It was Peter who boasted that the, uh, he would never forsake the Lord, even if everyone else did. And later, he denied Jesus three times. There are many important lessons we can take away from Peter's life. One of the biggest lessons is that Jesus uses unlikely heroes. Jesus called Peter to be a fisher of men. Peter was willing to leave all he had behind to follow Jesus, and God used him in extraordinary ways. What people were amazed by was the fact that Peter spoke with boldness and conviction, but yet he was unschooled. Peter was eloquent, but ordinary. The people also saw Peter was different. God wants the meek, the lowly, the messy, and the unschooled. You don't have to be a leader. All you need to do is have a willing heart and be willing to follow. To be transparent with all of you, in a lot of ways I'm similar to Peter. I have doubted. I've had little faith also. I could be proud at times. I like to be in control. As I think about Good Friday and Easter, I realize that God, without uh, Good Friday, I would not be where I am today. You see, it was a Good Friday service in 2004 that I recommitted my life to God and He set me free. He washed me white as snow. It was that after that service that my life changed dramatically and I actually began to follow him. You see, for the first 45 years of my life, I was lost, hiding, and I felt that I, w I was a pretty bad person. I was a loner. I was consistently told that I was worthless. I felt I could do, not do anything right. I was a proud person. I needed to be in control. I would do whatever made me happy without regard for anyone else or their feelings. I figured that if I was going to be in trouble no matter what decision I made, that I would just do what made me happy. So I can remember this Easter service vividly to this day. There was a white cross laying down on the stage with candles all on it. I can remember going to the altar and having communion and then returning to my seat weeping about all the things that were wrong in my life. As I prayed and gave my life back to the Lord, I suddenly felt as light as air. The stress and things of my past were gone. It felt like I was floating. I had such a sense of peace that came over me, and I was the happiest that I can ever remember being. You see, God took this person that made many, many mistakes, and he made me into something, into a new being. I humbled myself, and I allowed him to fill me with the Holy Spirit. And then he set me free, and I felt so free and happy and joyous. So this is why Good Friday to me is so important. It was a new beginning for me, a chance to start over and make things right and fix the errors of my ways. And as I was thinking about Peter, he was a man with many flaws also. But God used him to build his church, to write a good part of the Bible. And yes, he was human and made his mistakes, but God still used him, this flawed human, to spread the word of Christianity. Good Friday, Easter will be different for all of us this year. We will be separated from friends, family, loved ones. But even though we are separated, we are still loved and cannot be separated from God's love. God will be there for all of us, just like he has been there for us during this virus mess. We will feel the Holy Spirit's presence as we worship online. And I am praying that this year that someone will give up their past and become one with Christ like I did. I want everyone to feel the joy and peace that I have knowing that God has my back in every situation. My prayer this year is that we will all humble ourselves and that we will step out of our comfort zones, love on others, and pray that when the opportunity arises, we will be bold and tell others what it's like to have a relationship with God. Remember, Easter is not about religion. It's not about Easter eggs, though those are pretty tasty. It's about having a relationship with God. It's about remembering that he sent his son to die on the cross to take away the sins of the world. Just think about that for a minute. Could you send your son to be a living sacrifice for sins that he had not committed? Without Jesus' sacrifice, we would not have the opportunity to spend eternity in heaven with our Lord and Savior. Stay safe out there. Come visit Rustic Retreats. Happy Easter. Love you all.